I've been in Costa Rica for a month, have visited over 40 hotels, and paid for 24 hotel stays. Some of them pretty fancy. Today, I'll tour you through what I think are Costa Rica's five best luxury resorts. They're all great, but wait till you see my number one pick. If you're new here, I'm Don, and I make videos about the world's most unique hotels, so you can book your next escape with confidence. We'll start at Lapa Rios in the remote Osa Peninsula, billed as Costa Rica's wildest luxury resort. My friend Maria was with me for half of my trip in Costa Rica, so you'll get both our perspectives on this luxury experience. Lapa Rios only has 17 rooms, one restaurant, and this bar that's next to the pool. The view is great! Wow! wow. Super nice. It's a panoramic view. Yeah, the view is really nice. Almost all of the perspectives. The huge deck, the, de the, the view is even better out here. But boy, am I seeing some ugly ass furniture. Right yeah. Now. It is plastic. This place is not cheap, and you would expect just some really nice furniture and things in good taste. I'm like, he's gone, and then like he just comes around. Oh, hi. <laughs> Take it out. <laughs> hi, what's going on? Uh, that, do not touch my computer. <laughs> okay, see ya. Oh my God, that is so scary. Keep going. The pool's pretty small, and there's not very many shaded seats. The bar is right next to the pool, and it has beautiful views. The room cost here does include many activities that I cover in the full video, plus three meals a day at the resort's only restaurant. Okay, since you asked, why should you trust me? In the intro, I mentioned 24 Costa Rica stays, but I actually paid for 29 hotels here and made videos about 25 of these resort experiences. I did skip the four boring ones. The only way to make an honest hotel wreck is to test drive a place, and yes, my opinions are subjective, but not only did I have Maria with me for half the trip, my mom was along for the other half. And at the end, we all got together on a Zoom call and voted on our favorite luxury stays. I agree. So there is some process here. Of my 29 Costa Rica stays, seven are what I'd call luxury resorts, north of a thousand US dollars a night. I'll tell you which two didn't make the cut a bit later. And one more thing, I realize there's no one-size-fits-all resort. I'm not here to tell you where to stay, but to share my experience and show you everything you need to know so you can make an informed decision. With that out of the way, let's go see my next four luxury picks and crown the ultimate winner. I don't usually go for larger hotels, but this one is special, I think. I also think it's the most convenient luxury resort to get to in Costa Rica. Ooh, wow. Beautiful. Nice view. Yeah. Very nice view. Nice beautiful. kind of outdoor seating area. Yeah. Chair. Here's okay. the bedroom. The bedroom is smaller than some of the bedrooms we've had on it's, this trip. Uh, the smallest room so far. Yeah. I mean, it's done in really nice taste. Um, and then here's the bathroom. Nice. What do you think? Well, it's. I, I think it'd be nice to have double sinks. Oh, yeah. 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 There's not double sinks. What's up with that? <laughs> the shower's big. Sink? I guess the shower kind of <laughs> makes up for it. Where they were going to put the sink, they've put the shower instead. So. <laughs> I'm going to give the room a six, only because it's small. And I think yeah, the decor is good, but it's not great. Um, the most I give it is a six and a half. Six and a half. But while the room wasn't our favorite, the Andaz does make up for that with a smorgasbord of pools, dining venues, and beaches to choose from. There are two kids' pools here, complete with this retro VW van bar. But if kids aren't your thing, then you can escape to the chill adults' pool over here. Then there are the beaches, and there are two beaches here. 
Suffice to say that one of the beaches ain't great, and the other one is really nice and includes a restaurant and has yet another pool. But this beach comes with some complications that I cover in the full video that might be a deal killer for some. There are four restaurants to choose from here at the Andaz. You've already seen the beach restaurant. Then there's the main one here that's open all day and where breakfast is served. There's also this popular tapas restaurant that we liked. And the higher end Ostra restaurant with an excellent bar. By the way, there's also a Four Seasons in Papagayo, just five miles from the Andaz, that I visited. And in the full video, I cover why I think the Andaz is a better option. The Nayara Tented Camp is just below the iconic Arenal Volcano in north central Costa Rica. You check in at this beautiful reception tent. And who am I to refuse a welcome drink? That would be yours. Okay, that's good, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> There's only 21 rooms here and they're pretty private. There's also only one restaurant, but the tented camp is connected to two other sister properties. So there's lots of other restaurants and pools you can use if you're a guest here. So let's go inside. After you, mom. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. Wow, it's gorgeous. Yeah. Doesn't feel like a tent, does it? No, it sure doesn't. <laughs> oh, my Are you sure God, this is a tent? Oh. Cool. Wait, wait, hold on. Here's uh You really did surprise me. The uh volcano is pretty spectacular. Yeah. yeah I could do without the tree. It's yeah. smack dab between us and the volcano, but it's still a beautiful view. Nice uh plunge pool, day beds, dining, hammock. Which uh, which is your preference? The pool. The pool. <laughs> Absolutely. I can't wait to jump in. So they told us uh, it's a hot pool. I guess it's fed by the uh, thermal spring. Yeah, it's really warm. It's And it's way too hot. It's like 95 degrees today, so yeah. it's a little too hot for a warm pool. Mm -hmm. Might be good tonight. Beautiful bedroom. Yeah. There's really, it's like you would have no idea you're in a tent. It's oh my goodness, no. no. <laughs> Beautiful mini bar set up there. Oh, look at this bar. Oh, the bathroom's gorgeous. Oh, look at the tub. Oh, the tub's nice. Oh, I love tubs. Huh? You love tubs? Oh, yeah. I love well, to you take don't need a to go, bath. Well, uh, you don't need to go in the pool then. <laughs> I'll take a bath first. Huh? You'll take a bath? Okay. You can take a cold bath. <laughs> or just, uh, we'll just and then take... just jump in the pool. Yeah. <laughs> but this is, uh, this is really gorgeous. Dinner and breakfast are served here. But the food at this Mediterranean restaurant was disappointing. <laughs> The Pacuari Lodge is in the mountains of central Costa Rica and wins the prize for the most dramatic arrival and departure of any resort I've ever stayed at. The sound is like super relaxing. Yeah. Like since you arrive, just the nature start like giving you some love. Ooh. So to relax and to release a little yeah. bit. The reason to come here is all the incredible activities that are included in the room cost. We drop from trees. <laughs> we went canyoning, zip lined, and there's even a hammock experience here. Bottom line, we had a lot of fun. But you can relax here too, at the resort's pool or spa. Just like all the rooms here, it's a standalone bungalow in the jungle. You know, it's like one of the things that, it's not fancy, but I love it. It's, it's like it's it's not a tent, but I mean, it's there's no air conditioning here, and that's like I think for a lot of people that would be a minus, but I think it's a plus because there's no air conditioning. It's it's hot during the day, but it cools down nicely at night. There are 20 bungalows here, 
Besides the rooms by the river like ours, there are other rooms dotted along the hillside, and if you don't feel like doing the hike up to your hillside bungalow, the friendly staff will grab you in a golf cart. There's just one restaurant here with some high highs and low lows that I cover in the full video. I don't know, if you're into adventure and you love the outdoors, I think this is a great place. Yeah. If you're wondering about the two luxe resorts I test drove that didn't make my top five list, there's Nalu Nusara that I really liked and do recommend for groups, and Casa Chameleon Las Castellinas, one of my biggest resort disappointments ever. Before we declare our winner, we have one last stop at the Silvestri, a wellness meets surfing luxury stay, and what may be Nasara's best hotel alternative for families, groups, or folks who are looking for something a bit different. The Silvestri has a concierge and the kinds of services you'd find in a boutique hotel, but with the space of an apartment. Okay, let's go in and have a look. Okay. Uh, so living room, dining, looks like a big deck out there, beautiful kitchen. All right, let's, uh, should we check out the uh, balcony real yeah. quick? The balcony is nice and I uh, really like these chairs. I think they're cool. Uh, the outlook, uh, a little bit of a, not the best view, I have to say. Oh, <laughs> mom's on the seat. Is it comfortable? Well, yeah, I mean, I could get more comfortable if we weren't moving right now. So this is a two bedroom. Yeah, uh, you know that uh, orange or red, I don't know what color that is, that surfboard just above the bed is like really striking. Yes, it's gorgeous. There's another second bedroom. Oh, yeah, this is pretty. Ooh, this must be the main bedroom. Yeah. Oh, this is lovely too. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. But as much as I love our room slash apartment, I think this rooftop area is even more special. I cover beach access and all the details in the full video. So there you have it, my five fab luxury resorts in Costa Rica. I recommend all of these, but it's time to narrow things down. As luxe as the Nayara Tented Camp is, I think it's overpriced and the tents feel too detached from nature to qualify as real glamping. So that's out. Lapa Rios won me over with how they connected me to the incredible nature around me. A super unique experience for sure, but it's also getting the axe for its lack of attention to design details and a messy pool in the lobby. Not okay at this price point. This leaves us with the Pequari Lodge, the Silvestri, and the Andaz. Now, this is tough because I love the Silvestri. The design is first class, and the multi-bedroom units make it surprisingly affordable for groups. But being so close to the beach without actually seeing it? Nope. And even though the Andaz is great, it's just too big for my taste. But it was my mom's favorite. Uh, my favorite was the Andaz. So that makes the Pequari Lodge the winner. <laughs> it's not only my top pick, but also Maria's favorite Costa Rica luxury stay. It's a very magical place. It's a lot about the experiences that you can have with nature. Yeah. So I think that that is the focus of this place. Yep. Like I said, I pay for all my hotel stays to keep my reviews honest. So if this video is helpful to you, please support my ongoing quest to find the world's coolest places to stay by using my booking link in the description. Thanks. If you're on a beer budget but have champagne taste, don't worry, I've got you covered. With a video about Costa Rica's best mid-range resorts. Plus a video about my five favorite affordable hidden gems that pack tons of design punch for the dollar. Check them out here. Thanks for watching and see us in the next video. Adios. <laughs>